Hello, and welcome to Fiddlebox Computer Networking Lab. You're watching the instructional video called AAA Authorization Using the Taxes Plus Server. Here we are looking at the hyperterminal window. We're going to log into the router. I want to use COM1. I'll have to set the speed and I'll need to set the flow control also. Let's take a look at the running configuration. We can see that the AAA is currently active. I set up a method list for the VIDI terminal that will only use the taxi server. I've also configured the taxi server in the router configuration. And put the method list inside of the VIDI terminal section. Here we are on the access control server 1. Let's open up the ACS. I'll click on A to find Alice. We can see that her account is enabled and she's part of default group 1. Now let's look at the groups. Here we can see that the one user refers to Alice. Let's change one of the groups so that the administrators can have a group of their own. There, I made group number 5 the administrator group. I could modify some other ones if I wanted to, but I won't. Okay, let's make some changes for the administrator group. I'll set it up so it can use the exec shell. And I'll also make the previous level 15. I could just simply choose to submit this task, but in order for it to work, I would have to submit and restart the service. Okay, now let's take a look at Alice's account. She's still part of the default group. I'm going to change it so she's part of the admins group. Now when we look at her account, we can see that she's part of the admins group. And it only has one user. Okay, now let's try to tell Net as Alice and see if we're able to log in. Okay, we're in. Let's see what our privilege level is. We have the highest privilege level, level 15. TaxAx Plus servers are very useful for controlling the authorization of Cisco networking devices. I hope this video was informative and I thank you for viewing.